Okay, review time on a 100 watt equivalency LED light bulb. Uh, this one is a, a breakthrough price, just under $20. Uh, it's coming from Cree. Uh, the 100 watt space is just like a 60 watt space was uh, about a year ago. Uh, lots of aggression going on now in the pricing. Uh, the last time I tore down a 100 watt bulb, it was uh, $30 from Philips. This one's now, of course, 20 Still pretty expensive, uh, not really a mass market pricing, but uh, it's good to see. Uh, it is a demo bulb bulb that claims to have the same omnidirectionality as the uh, previous Cree bulb. It looks really similar to it. 10-year um, warranty. Uh, it is um, interesting enough, actually, there's some text in this one for the first time. Do not use enclosed fixtures. I'll take a big look at that. Uh, and uh, we'll compare it to the Phillips. Okay, I'll make this a comparison video. Uh, this obviously is a Cree bulb, and um, the other bulb that's in this space, which is, has a, a reasonable price, is the uh, Phillips Wonder Watt unit. I tore this one down a few months ago. Uh, I've been using one in my home uh, ever since I did the teardown. It's been performing okay. Uh, for things that I'm interested in, I'm going to uh, give a point to the bulb that wins on that category, and sometimes uh, the bulbs actually are quite identical, and they'll gain uh, both points each. Um, first things first, course cost. Uh, these bulbs are interesting because they're actually uh, aggressively priced. This one's coming in just under $20, and uh, that's a breakthrough. That's the cheapest 100 watt equivalency LED bulb. So Cree's again playing that role of setting the price in the market. Uh, when I bought this bulb, it was around $30. Now, as soon as this one came out, uh, I see that uh, this bulb has dropped down. It's around $23. So um, Cree still has the lead here in terms of the, the cost. So the the number of dollars you're going to spend per lumen, uh, the Cree has a point. Okay, let's talk about flicker of the light bulb here, and it's shining onto a solar cell which converts light back to electricity. Now I always nominalize the light intensity on the solar cell to be 450 lux, and uh, that will often result in a waveform in the oscilloscope, uh, usually 120 hertz. Uh, this bulb's not uh, unusual. You can clearly see 120 hertz. Uh, the intensity of the peak to peak is uh, just a little bit under 0.3 volts, so um, fairly consistent with the Cree bulbs, they've always had flicker like this. Now, the uh, Philips bulb, uh, however, uh, has been uh, quite a bit better, and uh, I measured it at around uh, 78, so um, this is the one thing that Philips does have to invent. Okay, light distribution patterns. Uh, what I have here, of course, is a, a polar graph, and uh, I've uh, recorded the intensity of light coming out at 10 degree angles to get some in indication how the bulb uh, performs. This is important because LED bulbs are all over the place. Some are quite good emulations of the incandescence they're trying to replace, and some are quite poor. Um, I have two graphs here. Uh, one graph is the Phillips, and the other graph is the Cree. Um, and they're basically the same graph. They have good side lobes in the back, and they have a nice flat top. So uh, both these bulbs actually are doing a good job. So again, we give one point to each. Okay, power consumption, watt hour meter, obviously, telling me the bulb's drawing at 18.9 watts. Packaging says 18, so the bulb is drawing more than the packaging. Uh, when I put in the Phillips, it's drawing actually even more. It's uh, coming in at, at 20.5 watts. So uh, the point goes to the Cree here for drawing less power. Okay, uh, enclosed light fixtures. Uh, the Cree bulb and the Phillips bulb uh, are quite explicit. You can't use them in these type fixtures. Um, I actually bought a fixture so I could mount it onto uh, a jig here and uh, measure the temperature rise because actually I do have a lot of enclosed fixtures in my house and it's a bit of a bother. Uh, obviously the idea is that the uh, heat builds up inside the fixture and um, that's problematic because it shortens the life of a uh, bulb with electronics. Um, true of LED bulbs, uh, even true of uh, uh, CFL bulbs. Problem is, this bulb is quite um, quite large actually. It's, um, it's so uh, it's such a large diameter bulb uh, it won't actually fit so here's the 60 watt equivalency it's a bit smaller and uh, it fits fine so uh, I guess I'm gonna have to defer this test okay well there you have it the Cree is just a little bit better than the Philips but uh, not so much so that it would uh, sway my purchase decisions I'm gonna put both back into service here and uh, do a long-term test on them